I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Even now, the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? Guildward Mage, are you still alive? Only just. I have only a short time left. Careful. This man has dabbled in matters forbidden by the Maker. He may look frail, but don't trust him. So the Maker told you that, did he? Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? I like how they respond to companions. Um, soldiers' peak must be rid of this plague of demons. Agreed. This must be the first priority. The only priority. So he's trying to stop it. I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. How have you survived these many years? The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic, but there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Tell me what happened here. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. How was Arland the tyrant? He ruled with fear and poison, his treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seemed so pressing then, but the kingdom lives on. What happened to the rebellion? Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tian Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the King's Guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. The Kuzans almost rebelled? That's my family. Is it? You lost many family members that day. I saw the Tian's head on the meeting table with an apple in its muff. Arlen's butchers, no doubt, slaughtered enough Kuzlans to make them pliable. You have to know that summoning so many demons was wrong. Perhaps, but it was survival. For months, I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand. But with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. Did the commander knew of the demons? She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinta. You don't remember how that ended? The Black City, Darkspawn? Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. How do you know the Chantry is wrong? And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. You sound proud of your actions. My only regret is that it failed, and that I never had a chance to make Ireland pay. Well, some things you just don't do. And who draws this line? Of what is safe, proper, or moral? The Chantry? Corrupt, mundane, pathetic little men? You? 
Embrace the core tenet of the Wardens, any means necessary to win. Okay, I want to ask something else. Yes? What was the purpose of your experiments? To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the dark spawn taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. What power? The Wardens use it merely to sense Darkspawn, a triviality. My research has discovered so much more, hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak, with it the Wardens could grow even more powerful. Can you teach me what you've learned? Oh, search my labs. The answers are in there. This just feels wrong. I have done what I must. But let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit. Yes. Sophia's great grandson brought me here. Let me go ahead. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Ha 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 ha, and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. Your call? He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Just answer his question. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. I'm sorry, Levy. I... Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. So be it. My only request... If justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. Until the demons are dead, we are allies. That will do for now. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. We must act quickly. The demons are clawing on the gates. The veil must be closed. What do I do? I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. Dispatch them. I will begin. First, I must summon the magical energies. I feel them. They're coming. <laughs> Now you fall. It's over. The veil is strong now. Stronger, at least. I said I'd submit to judgment. And so I shall. Can I be left to experiment in peace? You must atone. Research ways to help the Wardens. Ethically. With what time I have left, I will do this. It may take months or years for my research to reach fruition. When it does, I will send for you. Thank you for this, Warden. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. 
That old geezer of Vernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. But if he does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. The past won't offer redemption. Try the future instead. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. Any chance I could convince you to stay? You know I'm no good in a fight, but I'm a fair trader if I do say so myself. My cousins have been looking for a safe place to store trade goods, and the peak will do nicely. Whatever the Drydens have to offer are yours, for a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued. We do good work. Yep, that's us. Welcome back, Warden. As you can see, we've been busy. Clean the place up a bit. Even my brother Mikhail came out of hiding. Never will you find a finer smith. Also, got some goods stored here that might interest you. Buy them now before my cousins move it all someplace else. Did you tell your family about Sophia? I thought about it, but I figured that it's not a bad thing to believe that you come from a line of lions. Even if the truth is a touch more complicated. Our family's belief that we were wronged. It gave us strength to make something of ourselves. The keep looks a lot different. We've a big family. When you were away, we all pitched in. Hard to believe there were undead, demons and worse around here, right? Any trouble with Avernus? I've not a peep from him. Seems to like keeping to himself. But I keep telling the children to stay away from the tower. You? You're the Warden? My family owes you. Any weapons I make, I will sell you for a discount. You love his brother? Not much of a family resemblance. I have a family full of traders living a soft life. Getting fat. I chose to learn the way of metal and stone. It keeps me strong. In my travels, I found this strange metal in the crater. Yeah, that Superman reference. This... This is star metal. If you give this to me, I will craft for you a thing of legend. Hmm. A star metal longsword or two-handed sword? I think I will craft two-handed for Alistair because he has no... His axe is pretty bad. And so it shall be. It is done. I call this blade Starfang. May it serve you well. I must rest after my exertions. Warden? Starfang? Yep, not bad, not bad at all. Congratulations, Alistair.